phytonutrients, just the word gets me all excited. What we're talking about with phytonutrients is a fancy way of saying nutrition supplied by plants, which is where nutrition comes from, right? Vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, different micronutrients, all those are necessary for cellular function as well as cellular repair. They're so popular that you can pay for supplements. Unfortunately, that can sometimes cause overdose. I've actually treated people who've overdosed in things like B6 and caused nervous system abnormality. You have to be careful about what you supplement. But with nutrition, your body takes in what it needs and the rest just goes into the septic system. But all these are necessary for cell repair. And that's what my husband and I found through our years of research is that what people are missing is more linked to their current health than even some of the bad stuff they eat. And I found that even helping people on plant-based diets recover their health is they're not eating nutrient dense foods or maybe sticking to stuff that's low level nutrition, but not getting in the fresh vegetables, for example. So they all have different jobs, but they're necessary for the different functions that occur that create our metabolism. So metabolism is not only how quickly you can burn fat, but also how quickly your body can repair damage, how quickly your body can return to baseline after going through some kind of stressor, right? When you get a cold, are you sick for a week or are you sick for 24 hours? People who work with me, 24 hours, if they get sick at all, the common person can have a flu for a week or two. So your metabolism is also a measurement of how quickly your body can return to baseline. And that is dependent on the availability of nutrients. I like to think of them like Lego sets that when you are building a Lego set, there's instructions, your DNA has the instructions, and then all the different colored pieces and all the different shapes all fit together to create this beautiful thing. If you can't find a Lego, I would say, well, you're missing this, this one will work. And your body will do that because it wants to keep us alive. It's beautiful. So even if you're eating the wrong stuff, your body will go, well, this is the right thing we need. That will fit, let's just put that there. But if you keep using the wrong pieces, eventually the structure won't even resemble what it's supposed to. And that's what's happening with chronic disease. Eventually it's just not working anymore. But we found by flooding people with micronutrients and you don't have to be like, oh, let me eat this color, this color, this color. If you do something like kale, has more micronutrients than any other thing combined. If you just start with one, I know you like people to eat the spectrum, but if you start with just adding like a pound of cruciferous a day, kale, cabbage, that kind of stuff, you're gonna be flooded with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and your body will incorporate those and start improving cellular function. It'll take out the wrong Lego pieces and start putting in the right ones. Same with like flax and chia seeds, getting your omega-3s, it'll knock out the excess omega-6. Suddenly your cells are functioning better, communicating better, and you're healing faster. So it's where your body takes all of those Lego pieces that it needs from. And the good thing is our cells are constantly renovating themselves. And so even if you've spent decades giving it the wrong thing, if you start nourishing yourself properly, especially hyper nourishing the way people teach, like overdose on the good nutrients, then you'll start finding your health recovers really, really quickly.